Okay guys, we're gonna come check out the Franklin Recreation Center. Recently opened up a few days back. And I was hoping to come when the crowds weren't heavy. So this might be a good time to walk around and take a look and let's see what they've done on the inside. The village is, has a knack for decor. This is going to be a watermelon theme, guys. As we look at the front of it. Let's see if they're open here. Good morning. How you doing? Come to check out the new rec center. And who don't like some watermelon? <laughs> it's remarkable the thing that the villagers does in all these rec centers.
Now we're in a multi-purpose room and they got the lights off in here. I'm not sure as to why. I don't want to turn the lights on because I'm not sure what the switch is. But we're going to try our best to look. Oh, well, they're coming on. I think the motion detector. They got the farmer's market logo back here, fresh and local. And there's a watermelon stand. Of course, these are fake fruits, everybody. Got watermelons. Uh, looks like pineapples, oranges, lemon, lime, apples. Uh, other kinds of melons that could be cantaloupe over there. I'm not sure what it kind of looks like. And the makeshift truck bed. It's really neat. And I'm hearing more people starting to fill in. And here would be the warming kitchen. Yeah, these lights are motion. As soon as I poked my head in here, a light came on. This is a warming kitchen. You don't you don't really cook in here. You just warm things up, microwave, oven, you know, things like that. There's not even a, a stove top in here. Ruby Summer Farm. In each multi-purpose room, they're always going to have the American flag in it. <laughs> what do they do in multi-purpose rooms? Well, all sorts of stuff. They could probably do bingo in here, meals, just whatever you need a room, larger room for things. I think they even could do exercise stuff in here too. You can move out the tables or whatever and have exercise classes if you if that's what you got going on. <music>
I decided to walk on the uh, Franklin walking path just to see see what it was about. We see some exercise equipment. They added some palm tree, little little uh, palm tree island right there. That is really beautiful. I love that. That looks resort to me, even more so than what it all, all it already does. But the pavers are just really nice, substantial. I mean, it's throughout the whole air pool area, these guys got a real nice layout right here. This rec center. Um, that overlooks the golf course. You've got beautiful views right here. The inn next to the pool thing right there. Now, I hope that doesn't become a cleaning issue. But it looks very tropical. Then you got that big palm behind it. Very spacious. Got a lot of sitting areas right here. A lot of places to lay out and get a suntan and... The pool has a nice shape to it. You know, it's not some round oval or square pool. It's actually got some character to it. Really nice. Love it myself. Really enjoy it. And like I say, it overlooks the Mickey golf area right here. Now, one thing that I'm noticing <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing that I am noticing is that with all of these views, the picnic area back there, and all this beautiful, I mean, this is really, really nice. I have got to get into golfing. Um, You're on display. Now, I don't know how people feel about that, you know, me, I'm very self-conscious of my big old belly. I don't like being without my shirt on, taking it off in front of people. I feel like I, I swallowed my transmission. But if you're one of them people who are very self-conscious about yourself and how you look in a bathing suit or whatever, you know, there's not a whole lot of privacy except for maybe over here towards that wall. But right here you're in full display not that you know most people wouldn't care but i'm just saying i don't some people some some people seem to be funny about that but at the same time you come out in a swimming pool with everybody in the swimming pool so so you're still in the public regardless so really you know once you come out here you sun you know, laying out the rest of this it probably won't even people probably won't even care i mean to to have that view i think it's worth it all i could see this area being extremely popular i mean for several reasons that pool is going to be great now that rec center that swimming pool is for everybody. That is a family pool. Villagers, your visitors, the grandkids, all of that can come to that swimming pool right there as guests. Your guests can come to that pool. That's where you come. So I can see it being busy at certain times of the year. Let's take a look at this nice big green area right here. The homes that overlook the golf course. Super nice. But it does come with a price tag. That much I can guarantee you. <clears throat> I'm going to keep walking around this little path and come out to this extension area right here. Here's some more exercise equipment. Now the Franklin Recreation Center is going to have a 
watermelon theme. I will at some point. When it becomes open to the public, I will go inside and do a little video of that. Well, I won't go out there because this is the part of the golfing area right here. So we'll stand right here in this picnic area and look at that view, guys. Nice large pond. Off in the distance, you can see a walking path, a little bridge right there. I like these palms. Really adds a nice touch, the tropical feel. One wonderful thing about the villages out here, everything's so clean and manicured. Beautiful landscaping. They're constantly changing out the flowers. Well, that's gonna be pretty much everything on the inside to really look at. Um, I'm not gonna go back around the building because we've already done that. Everybody's been looking forward to this right here now. They have a pool that they can come and enjoy. It's very nice, kind of a kidney bean shaped pool. And they got Robolinis inside, so it really kind of looks a little bit more resort like. Not sure about Dabney as of yet. They have their postal centers, but there's no neighborhood pools. Now, I'm not sure why that is. They did not that I have seen any neighborhood, adult neighborhood pools in the villages of Lake, uh, Lake Denham and in the village of Newell. And I'm not sure about Lake, uh, the village of Dabney. I can't think this morning because they haven't really done anything over there yet. You could see what looks like a postal center, but a lot of times, you know, when you're looking at areas, you can see where the pool is being placed. Haven't seen that, but they did not do that in Newell or in Lake Denham. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. We walked around in the inside of the new Franklin Recreation Center. It's really nice. It's a very pretty typical of what you're going to see. They did some little different things that they've done at Homestead or in Ezel. Um, but they're pretty much the same setup, but they did add like a game room for video games and little different things. I feel like this is catered a little bit more to the younger kids, you know, when you bring your grandkids or something so they can sit and play video games, that kind of thing. Wonderful um, family pool back here very uh, resort feel and uh, we rode over to Lake Denham to look at some verandas some of them were pretty close to being finished a lot of them weren't but anyway guys I'm gonna leave that here with you and I'm gonna catch you in the next video